I'm shocked. I thought it was Dorota. What? Seriously? No way. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Little bitch! Hey, Upper East Siders. Gossip Girl here, and I have the biggest news ever. Serena, you're back from boarding school. Yeah, hi, Blair. So, I gotta go. Come on, Belle, can you just try a little harder? I'm sorry. If I'm being really honest, Rachel, I don't think you can pull off high school anymore. Thanks a lot. Sorry. Oh, come on, you were always on that thing. This audition's really important to me. Plus, the book is a bestseller, and it has a built-in movie audience. Dan Humphrey, he's a really good writer. OMG, you are not going to believe who Gossip Girl is. Wait, Gossip Girl is real? Before you get out on your own. The Upper East Side was like something from Fitzgerald or Thackeray. Teenagers acting like adults. Adults acting like teenagers, guarding secrets, spreading gossip, all with the trappings of truly opulent wealth. And membership in this community was so elite, you couldn't even buy your way in. It was a birthright, a birthright I didn't have, and my greatest achievements would never earn me. All I had to compare to this world was what I'd read in books, but that gave me the idea. If I wasn't born into this world, maybe I could write myself into it. I'd overheard enough conversations to be able to mimic the language of the Constance girls, but every writer needs his muse. And it wasn't until that photo of Serena in the white dress that I knew I had something strong enough to actually create a legend, launch a website. Within weeks, I was getting dozens of emails with stories about Upper East Siders, so I posted them anonymously. And then, I got more. Before long, it was a monster. Everyone was sending tips. I am so glad Gossip Girl finally got her balls back. And when Serena came back from boarding school, I wrote my first post about me. Lonely boy, the outsider, the underdog. I might have been a joke, but at least people were talking about me. This is a hell of a thing you pulled off, kid. I'm in awe. I hacked it and stole it from him. That makes me way more awesome. No, you stole it after I shut it down, and when you started it back up, I just stole it again. I should have known it was you on the surveillance tape, Diana Sammy. You were the only one who wasn't there with us that night. You're the only one who owns a hoodie. The one I felt stupid about was graduation when I asked Gossip Girl to meet me, and then Dan showed up. 